Townsend Press presents, from the Blueford series of books, The Bully. Written by Paul Langan and read by Jamil Gaines. With a cold November wind stabbing through his jacket, Daryl Mercer took one last walk with his best friend, Malik Stone. Man, I can't believe you're moving to California tomorrow, Malik said. I just can't believe I won't see you no more. Daryl shook his head. He could not believe it either. In just a few hours, he would leave the only neighborhood he had ever known in his 15 years. Soon his street, his school, and every friend he had in the world would be thousands of miles away. Thinking about what was ahead of him, Daryl felt like a man going to his own hanging. I'll miss you, man, Daryl said, his voice wavering. The boys had known each other since first grade at Harrison School on 44th Street. Their neighborhood was definitely not one of Philadelphia's best. Most of the buildings were old and decaying, and graffiti covered just about every one. Some houses were vacant, and a few had broken windows. Abandoned cars rusted along many streets, and occasionally local newscasts would run a story about city crime and feature this area as an example. To many people, the neighborhood was trouble, but to Daryl and his friends, it was home. True, there were guys selling drugs on street corners, but there were also good kids like Malik, Big Reggie, and Mark. Because of them, Daryl had never felt alone. Inside the rundown homes that lined Daryl's block, there were always people to turn to in times of trouble. Across the street was old Mr. Corbett, who sat on his porch each day and waved at everyone who passed by. Then in the corner house was Mrs. Morton. She made sweet potato pie for people in the neighborhood, especially Daryl and his mother. This will help you grow, Mrs. Morton would say whenever she left the pie at their apartment. It never seemed to work, but Daryl didn't mind because the pies were delicious. Daryl had always been short for his age. At 15 years old... He was just under five feet. He was also skinny, without a respectable muscle in his small body. Back in September, Daryl had dreaded starting Franklin High, but his friends were right there with him. If anyone picked on Daryl during those first weeks of school, they had the other guys to deal with, too. But all that was changing. Daryl was moving to California two months after the school year had begun. It was the first day of high school all over again, only this time Daryl did not have his friends to protect him. To find out what happened to Daryl after he moved to California, find a copy of The Bully in our classroom library and read it. Have fun reading!